Hi, I'm Allison Shields, president of Legal Ease Consulting and one of the authors of the new book, Make LinkedIn Work for You, a practical handbook for lawyers and other legal professionals. I've worked with hundreds of lawyers on their LinkedIn profiles, and I've seen countless lawyer LinkedIn profiles. And most of them share the fact that they are missing these five elements. So let's see how your LinkedIn profile stacks up. The first element is a header image or a cover photo. And that's not your profile photo, the little photo that appears at the top. It's the banner that's above that. This is a huge branding opportunity that most lawyers don't take advantage of. So that cover photo can include your logo or another image that represents the law or your area of practice. And it can also include your contact information. Now that's available elsewhere on your LinkedIn profile, but it's not always so easy to find. So putting it in your cover image is a big advantage to making it easier for people to actually contact you outside of LinkedIn. The second element is a description of your clients. So remember, your LinkedIn profile is about you, but it's not really for you. It's for your target audience, which is probably clients, potential clients, and referral sources. So you wanna make sure that they can tell from your profile who it is that you help so they can identify themselves as somebody that needs your help, or they can identify the kinds of people that they can refer to you. The third element is your story. So LinkedIn is organized like a resume, but it's a mistake for your LinkedIn profile to sound like your resume. It's a networking platform and it's an opportunity for you to tell your story. So you wanna include more than just your skills and responsibilities the way they would appear on your resume. You wanna talk about your story and your client's story and how what you do and your skills and responsibilities impact the people around you. Fourth, you wanna make sure that you include the jurisdictions where you practice. So don't forget that LinkedIn is a global platform. You are literally interacting with the world on LinkedIn. And that means there are going to be people outside of your jurisdiction that see your LinkedIn profile. You wanna make it clear where you practice so that people know who to send you for business. Um, and they need to know that states or the courts in those states that you can actually represent clients in. And then finally, disclaimers. So this may not apply to every single lawyer. It depends whether the ethics rules in your jurisdiction require you to include disclaimers on advertising. If that's the case in your jurisdiction, it means that your LinkedIn profile is going to probably need a disclaimer somewhere on it. So how'd you do? Do you have those five elements in your LinkedIn profile? Again, I'm Allison Shields, president of Legal Ease Consulting. And if you want more help with your LinkedIn presence, you can get the book, Make LinkedIn Work For You on amazon.com or go to my website at lawyermeltdown.com to download our 47 tips for LinkedIn. Thanks and have a great day.